Hey guys, it's Vicki. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I post videos about Poshmark. I am a full-time reseller and I like to do thrift hauls and tell you how much I sold and all that great stuff. So uh, be sure to subscribe if you would like to watch videos like that. All right, so on this video, I will be showing you a thrift haul. If you watched my previous video, I decided to go yard sailing on Saturday morning and I was up at like 5.30 in the morning, ready to go, and I got some good stuff. Um, that same day, I went and withdrew a $20 bill and I went to the thrift stores. So I'm gonna show you what I got from thrift stores. Um, I had never been to any of these thrift stores. They were in another town that's kind of far away from my house. Um, but I'm glad I went because I got really good deals. Okay, so let's get into it. All right, so it's gonna be pretty quick because I don't have a lot. But I will just go ahead and show you some of the things that I did get. So this is an Eileen Fisher. It's a size medium. Now I couldn't figure out if this was a top or if this was a cardigan. I think it is just a cardigan, but it's like a linen cardigan. It's really cute. It's got like the fitted back and it's got some sheer on the bottom. So yeah, just that. <laughs> This is soft surroundings. I got a lot of soft surroundings today. So soft surroundings, and it is just a beautiful. I want to say this is a silk top. Um, no, it's not silk. It's polyester. It feels like silk. So it's just a polyester tunic. I like the sleeves on it. They look like shell sleeves. It's really cute. And what is this? I don't even remember this. Oh, Sundance. <laughs> so this is just a Sundance. It's just a top. It's got like the ruched look to it. Kind of a fake wrap type thing going on. But yeah. Uh, um, this is Lily Pulitzer. I had never seen this before. And I don't know. I think this is like a built-in sports bra athletic top. But it could be... Yeah, it's an athletic top. It's got to be. So it's just Lily Pulitzer. And it's just this cute little athletic top. It's got a built-in sports bra. Pretty colors. It's cute. It's in good shape. On the back, it's got like a little butterfly back here. <sighs> Kitty. Alright, so these are Levi's 501. So I don't know what the deal is with the 501 Levi's but anyway I recall people saying get the 501 Levi's maybe it was 505 anyway so these are 501 Levi's um I just saw 501 and I said oh I think there's the ones I need to be grabbing I had no signal I had none at all and these are button up fly and they are kind of high waisted so I think these are women's which is probably even better so yeah these are button-up fly, high-waisted, 501s, definitely women's. Um, what size are these? I guess, good luck figuring that one out. I have to measure, because it does not have a size, but yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll, you know, Google later after the video's over, because I'm pretty sure 501s do pretty well. Maybe that's because they're buttoned up and they're high-waisted. <clears throat> okay, so I grabbed some shoes. Uh, these are Timberlands. I thought these were cute. They're just some leather mules um, by Timberland. Usually I find Timberland for men. I rarely find Timberland for women. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to do on Poshmark. But we will see. Um, this is a size 8.5, so it's a pretty pretty good size and it's not really scratched up like older shoes get it's in pretty good shape the bottoms the bottoms are good this needs to be cleaned up um, I got a pair of Trotter sandals now Trotter is a good brand and they sell for a good bit depending on what you get like I had a ugly 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 pair of um, just basic dress shoes or like navy blue block heel dress shoes 
they sat forever. I think I sold them for like 12 bucks. Um, so I at least doubled, you know, I got my money back plus another 650 or whatever on it. But, um, yeah, these are much different. I think this style might sell a little bit better, um, you know, with the seasons changing. So, and then I found these cute Cole Haan City, which I had never seen the city ones before. I've always seen the Cole Haan Country. Um, so, whatever. But these are the Cole Haan City, and they're just these cute pointed toe mules. They have like the little heel on the back. But yeah, I thought they were kind of cute. And for a dollar each, it was worth it, you know? <clears throat> I'll be comping all of this stuff after the video. Alright, I have some more shoes. These were all a dollar each as well. So I got these from one of... Oh, I meant to put this... Oh, I meant to put these in my previous video, but anyway, whatever. So I actually got these from a, a rummage sale. I need to clean them up a bit and kind of burn some of these strings off. But they're just some Vince Camuto. Um, they're just some flats, that's all. Just some little flats. Um, they're size 8s. They're the Harissa by Vince Camuto. So. That. All right, so these are more shoes. Now, I got these because, first of all, they're flats. Second of all, they're Etienne Agner. Um, and they're really cute. They're like this braided, woven material. But anyway, so it's these flats, right? And it's the, I guess they're vintage. Um, but they're really pretty, and they're in really good shape. So, um, as for size, that's going to be tricky. More than likely, these were like a size 7. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's a size 7. Medium. Medium. I think that's a 7. I see something. It says 7, 2, 3, 3. Oh, Lord. Yeah, so it'll take me a while to figure out what size these are, but I'm pretty sure these are like sevens or seven and a half. They are definitely not smaller than that. They are not sixes, so um, yeah, it might take me a while to find the size on the sole, but I'm sure it is here somewhere, and I'm pretty sure it's a size seven. I will compare it with other shoes I got. All right, I don't know anything about this brand, but I picked it up, and they are my size, so if it comes down to it, I can keep them for me. But they need to be cleaned up a bit. But they're these leather um, shoes. They are called Feral Robin. I had never heard of it before, but it just looked like something that might be worth picking up. So for a dollar, it was worth it. And then I got these Jeffrey Campbell. Um, they're just like a fringe flat sandal. Um, that's basically it. They're just pink and fringy and they're cute. These are size eight and a half, which makes me think that maybe this is an eight and a half too. I think it is. Hmm. It might be an eight and a half. Okay, so that is that. Now we've got this bag. Um, I got another pair of Cole Haan. These are just basic uh, peep toe wedges. They're in really good shape, but they're just these little wedges. I got this to go in my vintage store. Um, it's just a Lisette Lis Lis is the name of the brand. L-I-S-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. I thought it was cute because of this design here. It kind of, it's textured, but it kind of reminds me of like marble um like in some kitchens and bathrooms they have the marble which has like the um it looks like speckles of i don't even know but anyway it just reminded me of like marble floors i don't know why but and i also liked how it flips like this that's pretty awesome and it's clean lots of room 
Definitely smells vintage. Alright. Um, I got two pairs of Spanx leggings. Now these do have some um, pilling, which I will take the fabric shaver to them. Fix that right up. But, yeah, it's just these Spanx. Um, I don't remember who. I think I was watching one of Nicole State's videos, and she said something about Spanx did pretty well. Um, since I watched that video, I keep finding Spanx, so it's fine with me. I got two pairs, a black pair and then a gray pair. Um, this is Anthropology. It's Saturday, Sunday. Now, it's like a jacket, but I did find an issue with it, which I will show you in a minute. But it's just this cute orange, like a burnt orange jacket. Um, but on this arm over here, there is staining. So I've got to try to work on the stain right there. Hopefully I'll be able to get it out. Um, that was literally the only thing wrong with it. It was just two little spots. This is a free people top. It is a size medium. It as well has a stain. Now I don't have issues buying things with stains because I typically am able to get the stains out. Um, this has an oil stain so that should be pretty easy to get. Um, no holes or anything. And the material feels really, it's kind of like a heavy material. Um, this is a sleeve. Isn't that cute? But um, yeah, it's a heavier material, nice material. But yeah, it just has an oil stain on the front. And like I said, I should be able to get that out, no issue. And this is a Nike athletic top. I thought it was cute because it has like the mesh backing. And then it's got the cute ruffles on the front. And it's like a lavender. Um, there's two shirts like this, but one of them was extremely stained. It was white. Let's see if I did not get it. Okay, so this is one that I've got to get in the wash, and I've got to stain treat, but it is a vintage dress. I thought it was really cute. It is a, I think it says Vicky Vaughn. I think that's what it says, Vicky Vaughn Jr., something like that. Um, but it's this cute pink dress. Um, it's really thick up in this part, and then you can tell it's like polyester or something. But it's a very long dress. There is some staining on the front. Um, which I think will actually come out, maybe, because it's not like that rust stain that you'll see on a lot of older clothes. It's more just like a stain. <laughs> just a basic stain. So we'll see. Even if, um, and it also has some staining on the bottom hem, which I should be able to get that cleaned up. I hope. <laughs> um, but I'll still throw it in my vintage closet. Um, if you have not followed my closet on Poshmark, my actual closet, my main closet is Ali Bethany, but my secondary account, um, which I have permission for from Poshmark, it is for vintage stuff only, and it is called Ali's Vintage, and you should be able to um, find in the description below. Alright, so these are, well, man, I really need to pay better attention to this stuff. That's not a hole, but it's going to be a hole really soon. So these are just high-rise, flare, Levi's. Um, I can see where a hole is just almost about to form at the corner of this pocket. So if I do sell these, I would have to sell it super cheap and obviously disclose that. Okay, and then I found this top. This top reminded, this is a cliche, I've never heard of the brand, but um, the top reminded me of some boots that I have in my closet right now, and it's like this embroidered, I love embroidered stuff like that, it's really pretty, so yeah, um, I just picked it up just so, and I think, honestly, that's everything, that is everything I got, I got my daughter this cute little they're kind of wore out, but this is more play clothes. Um, but it was these cute little um, things that are not her style at all. But like I said, it's just play clothes. She'll probably like it to wear around the house and stuff. But yeah, it was really cute. I had to get it for a dollar. Okay, so that was everything I got from the thrift store from Saturday. Um, 
I probably won't be going on any more haul adventures in, for the next couple weeks because I want to focus more on getting everything that I have in the house listed. I still have a lot. <laughs> I have a basket downstairs in my laundry room packed full of stuff that I have not listed yet. And actually I think it's like summer clothes, like shorts and tank tops that I had um, deleted last year. Or yeah, like in November or something. Um, and then of course I've got plenty of stuff um, from when I went to Charlotte sourcing that I still haven't listed. I have a huge bag from the bins that has not been listed yet. So I've got to go through all of these things. I actually have to have my landlord come and fix our bathtub. So I've got to get that room cleaned up. And right now there's just like stuff everywhere. Inventory everywhere. It's just a big mess. So um, I got to get on the ball and get everything photographed and downstairs into my inventory room. So, all right, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe notification bell so you will get updated whenever I post new videos. And be sure to also follow me on Instagram at Ally Bethany. Um, I will typically post random Insta stories. So it's kind of like this. It's a video um, where I will talk to you about stuff. And sometimes I just post random pictures and stuff like that. So it's kind of fun to follow people on Instagram because you get to have a little glimpse into their life. So anyway, I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.